Hey, it's Kaleo, playing Swigod in 3, Chris, Chris's Chapter 2. Sure is easy getting around when you have a horse. Um, so we left Vinay and we're traveling to Lake Castle to store some things in the warehouse. And kill some rabbits. And probably get some paintings of prey. <laughs> no, actually, I don't have an appraiser yet. That sucks. But that's nothing but graffiti. Like, every time I've gotten stuff from them, it's just been graffiti. And then I lose out on, uh, like, 50 pots per one that I identify. Okay, so... How much? How many skill points did we get traveling here? Not many. Not enough to care. Let's just go to the warehouse. Now I do have some display items. I have many cactus. Oh yeah. Okay. I can drop off the book, the mini cactus, and that's it. So let's do that first. I'm pretty sure all I need is a desk. There we go. Place ornament, display picture. I don't have picture, but mini cactus. Aha! There we go. That easy. Now we have to decorate the whole castle. <laughs> this dog, he's looking... Never mind. I'm not gonna make fun of the dog. Billy! Where's Melvin? Keep that for you. I wish you'd tell me which one it was. Um, Book of Beasts, that's probably what it was. Ooh, cool. Bestiary. Holly Shrub, Holly Leaf Creature, 1.5 feet tall, usually jumps and attacks with body. Appears in Zexan forms. Wild Boar, very mean disposition, attacks by ramming, mostly appears on planes. Blade Bunny, looks like a typical white rabbit, but wields a stone hatchet, mostly appears on planes. I have some that I haven't seen. Creeper, green plant life form which sucks enemies into its body cavity, appears in Zexan forms. The Magician, a flying humanoid with various magic skills empowered by cards. Acrobatic kick attack. Uh, Shadow, a zombie like being with a wrapped head and neck. Claws and pile driver attacks. Grand Holly. Holly tree monster attacks by releasing several smaller holly leaves. Salamander. Dragon monstrosity shrouded in flames. Fire breathing attack while airborne. Wolf pounces on enemies to attack. Known to appear on planes. Chimera. A lion with goat and eagle heads and a snake tail. Can ram enemies, breathe fire, or breathe poison. Poisonous gas. Rachnivore. Giant spider, vivid yellow and black striped pattern, attacks with a clawing jump. Killer bee, bee-like creature with a sting attack, encountered on planes. Megawaki, one-eyed vegetation monster, eye emits a beam, also attacks with claws, stalks beneath the ground at homeland. Peckles, ivory colored boar, attacks by ramming enemies, primarily encountered in planes. Dark hair, a single horned black rabbit fights effectively uh, with its double bladed axe. Banshee, the lower body of a fish, the upper body of a humanoid, holds leer. Orange, sleep magic and water ruin attacks. Troll Dragon. Dragon-shaped monstrosity wrapped in flames. 
flies and breathes fire, appears on plains, mountains, and near the Sindar ruins. Shadow Dog. Wolf has furless toe, tail, and a color pattern on legs, leaping and breathing attacks. It has a furless toe. So it's like a rat, rat dog. Dokugumo. Giant spider, vivid red and black stripes, attacks with a clawing jump. Devil Eye features a giant eye on its head that shoots a beam. Also attacks with claws. Holly Elf. <laughs> Spurs the Holly Elf is so far in this book. It, they don't seem to be in order like of strength. Red Winged Human Horde Sprite sprites with a baton. Oh, strikes with a baton. And calls on Holly Leaves to make focused attacks. Furfly, small blue furry creature, attacks directly with its body. A red one, a yellow one, a green one, they're all the same. They each get a page. Purple one, copper, and the black one. Vermin, uh, Verminter? A red bug with thorns on its back. Explosive projectile attack can be used while flying. Dagger wing. Winged creature with enormous head. Drops enemy from the air and shoots multiple arrows from mouth. Twin snake. Huge Mount Sinai beast with two huge snakes emerging from both sides. Tongue and beam attacks from mouth. Flame and cold attacks from snakes. Purple Creeper. Purple plant life form which sucks enemies into its body cavity. Bone Soldier. A fighting skeleton that attacks with an axe. Blue Mantic. Known by its vividly covered bluish shell, attacks with laser appendages and paralyzing froth. A spark Beetle. A green bug with thorns on its back, explosive projectile attack, can fire several while flying. We're reaching the end of this book. Chan Chan, a butterfly with red and blue wings, absorbs enemy strengths and spreads airborne poisonous powder. Oh yeah, the yellow... I still don't know what that stands for. Savar. Savar? S yeah, I don't know what it's short for. <laughs> Yellow dolphin-like mountain sprite with unique pattern on its back and fins. Attacks with horn on its head and also with tail. Is that the end? Yep, I think that's it. What a book. I might go through that again at the end of the game when I've discovered everything. It's kind of nice to get extra additional information on monsters. I think I know what I did wrong with the bath toys. I'm pretty sure you can equip them like in your accessories when you take a bath. I don't know what kind of effects it'll have. Look at that. I can sell a couple things. Head back to the task at hand. Just skip selling things. I need that item shop. Pretty sure it'll be right there, so I won't have to run off to the side.
Ooh. That's new. Gold War. Combo attack. Knight B. Knight B. Knight B. They're all the same. It's got a chance of bet blow. Why not? It's like Google I want to use, basically. Well, if I use these, Boris and Roland should still get their own attack. I feel like they should attack these hairs. Really have any more powerful attacks? Got some levels off of that. Graffiti. We're definitely a lot stronger now than we were when we first set out. I feel a lot more confident if we went into battle. Is there any reason to rest? There is. I'm sure I can rest in my own room. Right? Apparently not, no. Yeah, it's free to stay here, though. Yes, I'm prepared. I will go ask our men to make haste in their preparations. Is that all right? Please. We must hurry. 
I see, my lady. It will be a difficult battle. Indeed, our complex relationship with the Lizard Clan makes matters complicated. controller again. We will now follow through with our Zexan Council orders and attack the Lizard Clan of the Great Hollow. Revenge would be sweet. Stay in battle formation. We will prove that Zexans are a force to be reckoned with. They will be very disappointed. Yeah! Rawr. Let's move out! Strategic battle, huh? Oh, yeah. Commence battle. I guess I, I forgot there were so many strategic battles in Chris's storyline. Defeat five enemy units. Chris's unit is defeated. The Great Hollow will soon be in sight. Proceed with caution. Scouts report that the Cryer Clan is also assembled there. What of Boris and Percival? The latest message says they are in place, Captain. Spearhead formation. Leo, take point. Zexans, forward! You heard the Captain. Salome, I leave it to you to signal Boris and Percival. I want the timing right. Yes, Captain. Okay. So, can we take a look at their... what they bring to the party? Yeah. Just the lizard fighter. Left li left lizard fighter? Okay. So basic units. That's all we can see. What's this? Auto skill? Who's in my group? It's Chris and a couple of Zaxxon Knights and Lewis's support. We have Roland has his own group. And Leo is leading a group with Salome supporting. They've been alerted. Saxons, inform the whole clan now. Uh oh. It seems we've been noticed. I prefer a straight fight anyway. Set up a pretty good defense. So we're gonna defeat five of them? That's all of them. Oh my. Alright, what's on the field? We got Basba, a couple fighters, oops, we got Chief Dupa, oh, and he's supported by a mage, and Shiba. This is an iffy one. Like, I could take this spot, but then I'd be surrounded, but I'd be kind of flanking them. I'd rather, maybe I should bring Chris and stay in a clump, just assault the bottom here. I mean, she won't be able to attack this turn. Probably the better way to go. Alright, let's have Leo lead it. Maybe we should have egged them on to attack, actually. 
I think they get support while we do not. 38 damage. We're a little stronger. Boom! I'm talking about. Heck, if I just drop Shiva. This battle will be over. There we go. Nice. Though, it breaks my heart. I don't believe it. Because I like the lizard men. <laughs> Alright. The other two units should be nothing special. There's even less of them. Oh, they're retreating. We got one of them before they got away. For you, little girl, getting out of here alive will not be so simple. By your cowardly acts, our comrades are gone forever, but now we will have retribution. Right. They brought some new ones on the field. I think I'm gonna have... Uh, yeah, Chris intercept. Yeah. We didn't drop any of them. Block. All right, they're retreating. We'll probably take out another one, but I don't think we'll. Yeah, we wouldn't finish it off. That unit severely weakened. Oh, nice. Follow me in. Barbarians, you will learn the strength of our knights. Okay, got some flanks now. What we got over here? Percival? And just a normal infantry. We have six actions. That means we can't move everybody though. Boris, same deal. Yeah, so we can only move six of these. Uh, Three, four, five, six, seven. One person won't be able to move. Okay, let's take Leo in to start with. He's weakened, but he's fine himself, to be honest. And he's got cover. And we'll probably just leave him there after this fight. Let the others pick up the slack. It's like a truck now. Boom. There's Beecham's unit. Withdraw. Alright. Yeah, let's just keep hitting this main one. Your turn, Roland. Fighting Basma. Okay, we're down one unit. That's good. I like that focus. Drop another one. 
Another one. Vasper's by himself. Nice. Oh, this is gonna finish him. He's trying to retreat. He won't make it. Sorry, bud. Ah, oh, the style points. The embarrassment of retreat. Oh, we dropped our leader. It's nice. I'm moving all these units that have cover first. Oh, they retreated. Two more actions. I don't want to move up yet. I think I'd rather let it set a turn. Who's the other one here? It's Lucia, isn't it? I think she'll be pretty tough. Boris is pretty tough. Alright, we'll let Boris attack. See what he can do. An easy battle, that's for sure. Boris is still doing fine. Praise to their spirits, in the name of our fallen ancestors, we are called forth toward the enemy. Here comes our chief. Oh, he's berserk. That's scary. This might be rough. Maybe we should defend it. Go on the offense. Try and drop at least one of them. Oh, good block. I'm afraid of Dupa, though. He's going to hit like a truck. Whoa, yeah. I think we, get, we got him, though. Yeah, it was pretty rough for both of us. <laughs> oh no, they got cover. Um, let's let this unit take it. Wait, what did they have? They just have the lizard fighter. I don't care about this guy. I thought one of the other units was going to be leading it. One health. Ah. Good 
job, nameless guy. Withdraw, withdraw. This is too much. Follow me in. Hmm? What is spoils of war? That occasionally happens when they run away in a flurry. Major victory. Oh, cool. What's that mean? Evasion ring. Sweet. We're going on a lizard hunt. Don't fall into their holes. Don't get too excited, Boris. Why not, Percival? We should relish the chance to avenge Captain Galahad's death and get back at the barbarians for their deception. I say there's plenty to get riled up about. Your point is taken, but today our main goal is to demonstrate our power. Don't get distracted and stray from the main battle group. Milady, I will take a position at the rear to observe the progress of the battle. Please be careful. Right. Leo has joined. Let's swap this around how I had it before. And that's in the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.